Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. As you can see, we have the Magnum and the Kinsey Planter sitting here. We are in field 49. We're going to go ahead and get started on planting some sunflowers here today. Um, I did get the... Whoa, what the world are you doing here? What the heck is going on? Um, I did get... Why is this thing going at a slant like this? This is going to tick me off. Um, <clears throat> I did get the sprayer filled up with... Uh, the sprayer and the Demco tanks filled up with some liquid fertilizer. So that way we can start on that. Okay, this planter is going to drive me fucking insane if it's going to keep doing that. I've used this planter before and it's never had any issues. I don't know why all of a sudden now it is. Um, but yeah, I got that filled up, ready to rock and roll. I got it over sitting uh, by a field 57, waiting to be used. But I definitely want to get rid of this planter. This thing is acting stupid. Just like that. What the fuck is wrong with you? Holy smokes, to get to that hay field, you gotta go through a lot of mud. It does have that creek bank there though, so... That would explain the mud. Hopefully this planter doesn't act stupid like this the entire time. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up driving this thing to the dealership, selling it, and buying something different. But I kind of like this setup right here, so... This tractor doesn't seem to be uh, powerful enough, though, for this planter. seems to not be uh it seems to be struggling to pull it okay why am i suddenly lagging there we go i don't know what the deal is here now why it's all of a sudden starting to lag I turn my computer fans on maybe that's the issue they didn't kick in and now it's getting too warm or something, I don't know. Don't know, I just know that it's starting to irritate me. That it's uh, lagging like this. drop down and make another round here. So far so good on the second round with this planter. I don't know what its issue was. But if it's going to keep doing that, I'm going to get very irritated very quick and end up selling it. But it seems to be doing a little bit better this round. So I don't know what its deal is. Oh, I guess I spoke too soon. It's starting to kind of slide. Because yeah, I've used this planter with this configuration on the last time I tried starting a 
um, Midwest Horizon series, so I don't know why it suddenly is not working. I did have a different tractor on it in that series, so I don't know if that's to do with it, if it's this tractor, or what the deal is. But, uh, I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and set us up some GPS here. I don't know why that causes it to raise up when I do that. Um, so we'll go Alt-C, look control s oh, my mouse is back here, I don't know what I'm doing. Enable it, auto-width, get rid of that. We're going to just get rid of that track name. And then, okay, so we're going to have to go in here and we're going to have to spin this around. There we go. So I did try looking to see if I could set a button on my uh, controller to run GPS. And unfortunately, I could not. Um, there wasn't a setting for it in the gamepad settings, so fortunately I gotta stick to what we got here. That's alright, I guess. Not too terribly worried about it. I'll manage. I'm just going to go ahead and lock on to this line right here. Just so we can kind of straighten out the edges and make it so that way when we're planting, everything kind of lines up. It'll make things a lot easier for us. this edge one more time and then that top edge one more time and we should be good then should have enough turning room then I do like that this thing goes up and down a lot faster than that Great Plains did uh, the Great Plains lifted up pretty quick but going down or it went down pretty quick but uh, lifting it up it uh, that's where we kind of ran into issues uh, lifting it up it kind of was a delay on it so all right we'll go ahead and lock onto this line here and head on up Cross up here one more time and we'll be all set, ready to rock and roll.
And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna skip rows as well with this. Make our turning a little e easier still. And we don't have to turn quite so sharp. See, as you can see, this thing is like instant as soon as I hit the button, which is kind of nice. Planting next season will definitely be a little bit nicer because we won't have to go over plowed ground, so it won't be quite as rough going over everything. I'll have to try and make a uh, wide turn on the end of this one so that way we can start going on the filler passes. The way this tractor turns when it has stuff hooked up is kind of annoying. I don't know why I'm getting so many lag spikes and frame rate drops all of a sudden now. It's kind of bugging me. It was going just fine before. I don't know what its deal is now. things already starting to get pretty dirty got a little bit of a ridge right here it's gonna be kind of annoying with the uh, headers but hmm maybe this thing doesn't uh, I thought this one also direct seated but I guess it must not so we may have to uh, till some ground but I guess I mean I want to get a different uh, corn planter next season so um, we shouldn't have to worry about it with this one then One more pass left on this one, and then we can move on to our uh, little field 55.
So we should be able to get field 55 planted yet in this video and then um, I'll probably go around and get all the headlands done on field 57 so that way when uh, we come back tomorrow all we gotta do is you know do our straight rows on that field and then uh, that way we can do that we can get field 57 planted and then get uh, all three fields sprayed with fertilizer hopefully all right so we are good to go on this field we're just gonna go ahead and shut GPS off because we're not really gonna need it on uh, field 55 because it's just a little guy so we can kind of do that one ourselves so I'll go ahead and get this let this guy get spun around here and get into position and we'll move on to our next field ah oh, this dang mud so for field 55 here if you remember we gotta kinda cut through here to get to it um, our grass is ready to cut but we're not gonna really start on that until uh, the first day of summer like I had said all right let's get this guy unfolded again we'll start backing it into position here Oh, shoot, wrong button. There we go. We got her down and ready. Now we'll get this one opened up here and get rolling. This definitely isn't as wide as our uh, drill, so planting with this takes a little bit longer. I'd like to upgrade to a corn planter that's a about the same size as our drill maybe a little bit bigger if nothing else um, but roughly the same size I don't want to go smaller than our drill Come on, thing. Work for me here. I don't know why it's freezing up like this. But it is starting to get rather annoying. This is just a little guy. We might maybe get a truck loader, maybe two out of this field if we're lucky. Come on, not again. I don't know what this thing's deal is. I normally never have issues like this. I don't know why all of a sudden it is. Could be. I don't know, it could be because I didn't have the fans on on my laptop right away. Could be it. I don't know. Hopefully it snaps itself out of it. If anything, I might have to close the game and reload it or something. Sometimes that seems to kind of do it. What am I running? I'm only running 20 frames a second right now, so I don't know why 
why all of a sudden it's deciding to run like this again I don't know I need to get a uh, get the gaming desktop that I want eventually or build what I want one day Get whipped around here and we'll have just a little bit left to pick up on the way out of this field so just a very little bit left to pick up that's all right we got to come back to this end anyways to uh, exit this field Fold it up here and we get moved on over to the big one. Alright, let's roll and we gotta get through this mud right here. I mean, I could turn off the dynamic mud. And here we go again. Yeah, this is really starting to irritate me. That it keeps doing this. Yeah, this is ridiculous. We got a nice big hay field here, too. Plus that one back there. We are going to have all kinds of hay to put up. Between cutting and we gotta go back and rake it, and then we gotta bale it all, we gotta haul it all, stack it all. Because I do plan on, like, actually stacking it. Uh, I think we'll see I guess how many bales we get too and see what would be better a better option if it would be better to stack it or if it would be better to uh, you know just unload it with the bale trailer and let it stay stacked that way. Let's go there, get this guy brought up, and let's see if, if I hit load, if it'll kind of adjust it more, maybe not, okay. Alright, well, that is going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure you turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you check out down below in the description. I got my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias. 
as well as some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.